15 seconds. Okay, nine is configured for flight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And resilience rises. Not even gravity contains humanity when we explore as one for all. That's the word we want to hear. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Plus 30 seconds into this historic mission, flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Stage one is preparing to throttle down. This is in preparation for max Q, which is maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage one, throttle down. There's that call out for throttle down. Power and telemetry continue to be nominal for the vehicle, now traveling at 262 meters per second. Falcon 9 is supersonic. There's that call out, the Falcon 9 is supersonic, and we will be passing through max Q here shortly, the largest structural load during ascent. Max Q. And there's that call out, that Falcon has passed through Indeed. max Q. One Bravo. And we've Project just one entered Bravo. Stage one Bravo abort mode that's going to take them through the end of the first stage burning just before second stage activates off the coast of North Carolina. T plus one minute and 40 seconds into flight Dragon and Falcon 9 traveling 709 hey, uh, meters per second. Started. That call that MVAC chill is underway, the Merlin vacuum engine. Now with the call out of MVAC D chilling, similar to what we saw in the first stage Merlin engines, the second stage engine being prepared for its ignition coming up in just over 30 seconds from now. We're a half a minute away from three quick events in rapid succession. We're going to get main engine cut off. The nine Merlin engines will throttle down and then shut down. We're going to get stage separation. Stage one throttle down. And then ignition of the second stage engine. We've begun the throttle down in preparation for stage separation. And we have two alpha. Stage separation confirmed. And you see that stage separation has confirmed. There goes that MVAC engine. Stage two, crew one is now on their way to the International Space Station. On the right side of your screen, you see stage two continuing to burn. Over on the left-hand side is stage one preparing for its return to Earth. Now currently on the left side, you can't make out much. Uh, it's a couple hours after sunset in Florida, but the grid fins have deployed on the first stage. The first stage is now unpowered, but with the velocity it had, it continues to coast up to an apogee before it begins to descend back into Earth's atmosphere. Now as we watch, maybe we'll see the lights of Florida or the eastern seaboard in the background, but otherwise there's not going to be much to see. On the right-hand side. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. You can hear the call out. Trajectory is nominal. Bermuda. Nominal trajectory. And we've heard call out Bermuda. That means Bermuda ground station has the signals from the second stage of the Dragon and Falcon 9. We're still continuing as stage two burns to listen for those abort zones. We are now in 2A through 2E to Echo, taking us up over the Northern Atlantic. Right now you can see the second stage engine glowing with this standard uh, red uh, that we have come to uh, see over all these missions, indicates everything's looking good. 
Power on the MVAC-D engine continues to run at 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of outer space. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. And trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. And we hear the, the reply from the crew acknowledging we have a nominal trajectory. Dragon made it to the Falcon 9 second stage heading into the low Earth orbit where Dragon will then separate and begin its trip the rest of the way to the space station. We'll be looking for SECO, second stage engine cutoff coming up at eight minutes and 48 seconds after launch today. So about three and a half minutes from now, Dragon and Falcon 9, second stage, currently flying 2,979 meters per second. Now currently the first stage has begun its descent. It is through Apogee. It's beginning to come back down where it, uh, Coming up in another couple of minutes, we will have the entry burn, where we begin to slow down the Dragon first day. SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Another call out, another nominal trajectory, just what we love to hear. That voice you're hearing on board Dragon, that's Commander Mike Hopkins speaking for our four-person crew as they continue their journey. Now six minutes and 12 seconds after liftoff. Trajectory still nominal. And Leah, you can see on the indicator altitude, 201 kilometers. Uh, we're now beginning to essentially level out and pick up velocity to get us into low Earth orbit. A little under one minute from the ignition for the entry burn on first stage. And we're about two minutes Dragon away. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Great news, now seven minutes after launch, second stage engine continues to burn, everything looking good. And we'll see that continue to burn for another one minute in about 38 seconds. Right now on stage two, the crew's getting about uh, a little more than two and a half Gs of acceleration. First stage preparing to ignite for the stage entry Stage two FTSS saved. And we've got ignition of the entry burn, center engine, followed by the other two restart engines. First stage now getting ready to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is about a 29 second burn and it's designed to slow the vehicle way down. We're gonna shed about 70% of the velocity of that dropping first stage by the time this landing burn completes. I should say by the time the entry burn completes, which is now over. First stage on target for the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Meanwhile, we're watching second stage getting close to getting into orbit. That's right, we've got about 30 stage seconds two, more. internal guidance. And now just about 20 seconds more of stage two continuing to burn until we see second stage engine cutoff or SECO. We'll coast for a few minutes afterward to allow the rates in motion to Roger and there, Shannon. There's that call for Shannon. That's Shannon, Ireland, an abort zone, but it looks like we continue smoothly to orbit today. In back, shut down. And we've got shutdown of the second stage engine on time. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orb insertion. Launch escape system is disarmed. And SpaceX copies. And Leah, the words we like to hear, a nominal orbit insertion. That's right, John, nominal orbit insertion. As we mentioned, stage two. Oh, looks like some action on stage one.
And I believe we've had a touchdown on the drone ship. We've got stage one has touched down on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. But now the more important news, second stage is in orbit, right where we want, right on time. And we're getting ready for our next major activity, say, which will be Dragon spacecraft separation. <laughs> now currently on the second stage, we are essentially venting pressure, purging the engine out, making sure everything is quiet in preparation. Take a look, that's inside Crew Dragon right now. Our Crew 1 crew now coasting in low Earth orbit, still attached to that second stage. In just a couple of minutes, we should see that second stage separate and Crew Dragon will be flying free. Malia, the mission timer shows 90 seconds to Dragon separation. Currently, Dragon is flying at 27,000 kilometers an hour. And we're T plus 11 minutes since liftoff today waiting on that second stage separation. But as you can see, our astronauts from left to right, Shannon Walker, Victor Glover, Mike Hopkins, and Suichi Noguchi, now on their way to the International Space Station. First trip to space for Victor Glover. Of signal in Newfoundland. And that call out acquisition of signal in Newfoundland. That means the Newfoundland ground station is now receiving telemetry from Dragon. This view inside Mission Control Hawthorne. Teams continuing to monitor the vehicle, now traveling at almost 27,000 kilometers an hour. Ten seconds to Dragon separation. And separation confirmed. You can see that second stage departing. Crew Dragon leaving it behind. Separation confirmed. Now 12 minutes, 25 seconds into today's flight. Our next thing we'll be looking for is nose cone deploy. Our hooks will start to open on the nose cone and reveal those forward thrusters underneath. Thirteen minutes into today's mission, the view on the right-hand side of your screen coming from Crew Dragon. We had that short look at the second stage as it departed. That second stage will burn up upon reentry into Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX, we see nominal service section Draco checkouts and the humidifier activation. And SpaceX, this is Dragon. We copy all and we see the same. Confirmation from teams on the ground and the crew. You can see them monitoring those three display panels, monitoring their journey to the International Space Station and where they are in the world right now, or over the world, I should say. Well, we're in 14 minutes, 25 seconds since it was a great liftoff. Everything happened. We had a normal, a normal insertion into low Earth orbit. You saw Dragon separate. 
We got the Draco checkouts, we're good. And right now we're hearing the nose cone hooks are opening up. Everything is happening right per the procedure. And we've got crew on successfully on orbit. So with that, let's head over to our counterparts at Kennedy Space Center. Marie, how was that launch for you all there on the ground? Oh my gosh, John, it just it <laughs> just took our breath away. I mean, we could just turn right around yeah. in our seats and watch. Uh, we got up uh, away from the desk to get a better look. And then we actually could see the booster uh, coming back down. Yeah, that was outstanding, outstanding. And I don't even know what to say. <laughs> high five, we're like high five and through the shield. Yeah. We've been watching NASA coverage of the agency's latest joint mission with SpaceX. We're gonna take a quick break, but stick with us. You're streaming CBSN, always on.